we're at a Cube Smart storage facility here in Indiana where we purchased a storage unit uh, yesterday and we're here to do our clean out. The unit we bought is a 10 by 20 unit and it's climate controlled so we thought we would video some of the process that we go through to get the unit and, and uh, clean out so you could see what type of treasures we find. This unit is probably not like a lot of them that we've purchased in the past and the way that it's packed quite nicely. Um, but then when you get a unit like that, you do spend a little more money for that. So let's go inside and see what kind of treasures we find. So we've only purchased one other unit where we had to go through glass doors and come down the hall. We're fortunate enough that the unit we purchased, it's a big one, and you could see that it's filled with stuff that's neatly packed, and we're fortunate enough that we are close to the door because if we were down the middle of the hall, it would be a lot more work to transport our stuff down the hall. This is a climate-controlled unit, um, and so typically we'll find a little bit better items in here. Before we can do anything, okay. uh, we have to get these rugs out of the way so we can bring the hand truck in and deal with the rest of the furniture. So our plan is just to move these out of the way and into the hallway since there's nobody heading down the hallway now and then um, just get them out of our way and deal with them later. They'll, they're heavy and they'll likely go in the back of the pickup truck. This is a Kerastan rug, and it's um, a 10 by 14. Kerastan's a really high-end um, rug, so this should um, bring some pretty good money if it's clean inside. Boy, you never know. You unroll them, and there could be pet stains or something on it, and it may end up going to the city dump. But at least we know we have a good name, and we know the size of it. them all here because it takes up too much time but we'll peek in a few to see what type of items we have uh, lamps maybe lamps floor lamps That looks like a mirror or a picture. They're usually in that type of box. Labeled as a mirror, but who knows? Labeled as a mirror. Yes, you can't always trust the labels. Pictures, maybe a mirror. Mirror, who knows? All wrapped very nicely. I'm gonna open it. Okay, so Empty this box. is my living room. basic living room stuff. Bunch of papers and junk, probably garbage. DVDs. Hello. Batteries. Not a whole lot of value there. Karastan rug. It's very clean when you look down in it. It went dead. This 
flat black. Lampera, is that uh, Spanish for lamp? I have no idea. So either the person was Spanish or the Packers were Spanish. I don't see a Lampera in here. I do. Lamp. Ah, what is this? 12 inch something. Or 24 karat prestige. Is it a, it's an empty box. That's what it is. Who has a 24 karat gold facial mask? What on earth is that? Such a thing. I don't know, but there it is. Huh. I have no idea what this is or any type of value. Guess we'll have to look that up and figure that out. <laughs> okay, so one thing we've noticed that all of the items here wrapped up have a um, date and um, a code number on them, and that means that this was a moving company that packed this up, and they kept inventory of everything uh, that they packaged, so it was somebody who had their whole house wrapped when they um, moved. Some of the boxes do say Pompano, Florida. We're not sure at this time if this individual moved um, from Florida to up here. Sometimes we can kind of piece together a story um, when we open stuff up, but we haven't opened this. We don't know what this is, if it's a picture or a mirror, so we're gonna open this um, here on the video. Frame station from Richmond, Indiana. <laughs> and this. Fine. This is a uh, signed and uh, numbered uh, print. George Ellen and Early Virginia Spring. Oftentimes they'll put the uh, certificate of authenticity on the back of it. Okay, so here goes our uh, first piece of wrapped furniture. Sort of get behind there to see what else we're going to find. That's not good. table. Let's go out and open it up. See what it looks like. So we're mainly looking for antiques when we do this, but really nice quality home furnishings are good too. They come in a second rate 
there's somebody else moving here and uh, they just dropped the box. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like glass, that is not us. <laughs> So while he's doing that, I'm going to show you so far we have found these chairs that we have yet to um, unwrap. They're different sizes, so I don't know if they're going to be a matching set, if there's going to be a table that uh, matches them or not. So let's get back to um, the table. You could see when a wrapping company does this, you have professional wrappers and they wrap all the way down to the legs. So any damage or anything on this table would be, um, would have occurred before it was wrapped up. So we're just gonna take a quick peek here to see what we got. Might be old, because I see casters on the bottom. Okay, so, it's, yeah, the top is missing on this. My, my guess is some of those uh, boxes that said mirror and glass on them, those flat ones, the glass is likely in one of those, so we will find that. This does look like an older table. Might be marble also. It could be marble, yes, but you could see the detail there. And then down to the casters and all the casters are on the bottom there. Okay, so we found six chairs that are wrapped like this. Um, it appears to be some type of wingback chair. So we were just gonna take a quick peek and see uh, what this is about. At first we thought maybe they were chairs that went with a um, uh, dining room type table, but they're clearly not that. Goodness sakes. This is a really good wrapping job. This is probably one of the better wrapping jobs we have ever encountered in our 20 years of buying storage units. Here. I don't want to completely unwrap it because we want to get it home and make sure it doesn't get damaged um, along the way or damaged um, in our building while we're waiting uh, to get it into a shop to sell it. I thought this one's going to be a quick peek. And clearly it is not. to be real leather. I'm sure it'll say underneath it. Um, so why would someone have six of these? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so this is the second piece of furniture. It looks like it matches the dresser that we just put in there. And one of the things that we've learned while doing this is we've carpeted the bottom of our trailer and then we got these uh, moving men. So you just put the sliders under the legs and once you get the first legs, then you just lift and everything slides in uh, real easy. Just like they show on the commercial. So yeah, if we could stand nope. something up in the interest of space, we do that, but. Uh... Okay, so we found a couple boxes here marked kitchen, and we're just gonna take a peek inside of them and see if we have appliances or dishes or what type of kitchen items are in there. And it would be what people would 
put in their kitchen. Sometimes you wonder why people would bother storing some of that kind of stuff. So um, this looks like uh, uh, pots and pans here on the bottom. Pretty nice though. Yeah, all nice, neat and clean. And then um, we have unloaded all of this furniture you could see here. Um, there are several more chairs. This is clearly um, a sofa table. And there are two other small tables there. Um, we haven't unwrapped them yet. Let's go out and open it up, see what it looks like. So we're mainly looking for antiques when we do this, but really nice quality home furnishings are good too. Come in a second rate. There's somebody else moving here and uh, they just dropped the box. Okay. <laughs> Sounded like glass. That is not us. <laughs> so while he's doing that, I'm going to show you so far we have found these chairs that we have yet to um, unwrap. They're different sizes, so I don't know if they're going to be a matching set, if there's going to be a table that uh, matches them or not. So let's get back to um, the table. You could see when a wrapping company does this, you have professional wrappers and they wrap all the way down to the legs. So any damage or anything on this table would be, um, would have occurred before it was wrapped up. So we're just going to take a quick peek here to see what we got. Might be old because I see casters on the bottom. Okay, so it's, yeah, the top is missing on this. My, my guess is some of those uh, boxes that said mirror and glass on them, those flat ones, the glass is likely in one of those. So we will find that. This does look like an older table. Might be marble. It could be marble, yes, yeah. but you can see the detail there, and then down to the casters, and all the casters are on the bottom there. Ready? All right, so we found another box marked kitchen. I think this is the fourth kitchen box. Not unusual if you started putting all your kitchen items in, it takes an awful lot of boxes. <coughs> I'm just going to peek in one to show you what we're finding here. Looks like a typical kitchen stuff. Uh, crock pot. Crock pot. These are kind of cute. And there's some cookbooks in here. Well, I can't really see what's uh, on the bottom. Okay, so we found six chairs that are wrapped like this. Um, it appears to be some type of wingback chair, so we were just going to take a quick peek and see uh, what this is about. At first, we thought maybe they were chairs that went with a um, uh, dining room type table, but they're clearly not that. Probably one of the 
better wrapping jobs we have ever encountered in our 20 years of buying storage units. Here. don't want to completely unwrap it because we want to get it home and make sure it doesn't get damaged um, along the way or damaged um, in our building while we're waiting uh, to get it into a shop to sell it. I thought this one's going to be a quick peek and clearly it is not. to be real leather. I'm sure it'll say underneath it. Um, so why would someone have six of these? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so we found this chair and we think it's kind of interesting. This is the College of William and Mary in Virginia. And, um, chair has a little bit of damage, um, nothing that won't take but, you know, five or ten minutes to fix up, but it's kind of a nice chair. Unfortunately, it didn't all fit in our vehicle. This is what we have remaining. Um, we think we can fit it all in the 
transit tomorrow, so we will just drive the transit back and um, get these items, and hopefully they all fit. And so when you buy a storage unit, the one thing you have to do is you need to bring your own lock because you have to lock your stuff up after they cut off their lock. Admittedly, there's been times when I haven't locked it because what I had remaining was stuff I was sure hoping someone would come and steal, but I haven't been that lucky yet. This facility was nice enough to give us until Monday if we needed it. Uh, Monday it's supposed to maybe snow, so we're hoping to uh, make it back tomorrow afternoon instead. And right in there, there's an empty corner. Traffic is okay heading around Indianapolis. There's a lot of construction right now. <laughs>